Welcome back you guys, my name is Jamie Boy, and today's game we're going to be playing is called Sly Cooper 3, and we are going to go into Australia right now and see what we need to do. I don't know what we're going to do. I'm guessing that we're going to go and see Murray's mentor. I'm guessing. I'm not really sure. If that's what we do, and then we have to take down a crime boss in this area, then we will, but let's just see what we need to do. At first, it seemed just like old times. The gang was back in action. But little by little, we learned that Murray's heart just wasn't in it. Without the guru's permission to give up on his dreamtime training, he'd never really feel comfortable returning to the gang. We knew we needed to help him out. So, we packed up our things, whipped up some quick disguises, and headed for the Australian Outback. Along the way, Murray told us story after story about his teacher's amazing abilities. Apparently, this guru of his was capable of fantastic feats. He used the dream time to blend perfectly into his surroundings, and even gain mental control over the weak-minded. If even half the stories were true, then this was a guy I just had to meet. Our gang needed to grow its ranks for a chance to get inside the Cooper vault. And this guru, this outback mystic, was looking like the best recruit we could have ever asked for. However, when we finally arrived in the outback, it was a shock to find that things had changed. And the guru was nowhere to be seen. I could go and do new training challenges and everything, but I'm not going to do that just because I really just don't want to and everything, just because I know how to already play as Murray and everything, but I like how they seamlessly bring you into the world and let you see the overview of what the area is instead of like how Sly Cooper 2 did it to where you're already in the hideout area and you need to go out as one character to see what, what's happening. I like how they changed it to where when you enter the area you get an overview of what you're supposed to do if you're there for the first time. That's really really cool but anyway anyway it looks like I have to go out as Sly Cooper because it is showing that Sly Cooper is right there. There's a Sly Cooper mission as soon as I leave, so yeah. But is there anything that I can get that is gonna be good? I can do the spin attack or the knockout dive, so... Yeah, so I can press triangle twice and then square to do a pow more powerful attack. Or I could do this, press do the push attack. Uh, yeah, let's just do the spin, no wait, yeah, let's do the spin attack because it seems much more helpful in this situation, so I'm going to go out as Sly and do what we need to do. The miners have really tore this place up looking for opals. Watch your step, they're sure to get rough defending their claim. Okay, so exactly where is, okay, so I'm over here and I need to do that, so. 
Uh, of course, so apparently I want to see what's over here places because I know I got an overview of this area, but I want to still see this area in its entire. Okay, not exactly. Did not mean to do that. I was trying to pickpocket. I was trying to pickpocket, and I don't know why it didn't work. Okay, so is there any. Hey, I still have the disguise. That's cool. So I still have the disguise, but that's basically all I have. And I don't know why every time I go into the menu, it flickers. It flickers anytime I try to like select something or deselect something. It's like, I, I don't understand why it flickers, but it does. So I do apologize if I ever go into that menu and it starts flickering. That, that's the reason why, but anyway, anyway, let's just get to where I need to get to because apparently, okay, 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 don't want to get spotted now because I'm just in this area for the first time and I don't want to be spotted. Okay, I need to take this guy down first, but before I do that, I'm pit pocketing him. Okay, now just, okay. My master spends most of his time up there in that cave. Overlooking the valley and contemplating the depths of deepness. I really appreciate you breaking the news to him that I want to break off my training. No problem, pal. I'm looking forward to meeting him. Anybody you call master must be a heck of a guy. Oh, he's awesome. He'll get inside your head and freak you out six ways from Sunday. Uh, awesome. <laughs> uh, what happened to the bad guy that was just here? Um, okay. So, okay, so I'm supposed to go up there now. Apparently, I'm not really understanding why I need to. Apparently, okay, wait, pit pocket you. Okay, need to take you out. So I really don't have that technique anymore, the, the take out technique. Okay, only when I'm sleuthing, I guess. Only when I'm, like, being sleuthing. Sneaky, I guess. Wait, wait. There's an area up here. Oh, that's probably an area that I'm not supposed to get to right now. Okay, okay. So it brings over that mechanic. Really? I never liked it in Sly Cooper 2. So, uh, It's like I'm pressing the button, but every time I do, it's like it has to be highlighted or something. And that's one mechanic I did not like in the original Sly Cooper 2 in Sly Cooper 2. That was one mechanic I just did not like, but if I have to deal with it in this, I'm gonna have to deal with it because if that's the only gripe I have about this game, then I hope it is. Sorry, pal. This cave's empty. Got any other ideas where he might be? Well, that's his hut. But he doesn't really hang out there on account of the smell. The smell? It's a long story. I had to apologize up and down for like a month before he'd speak to me again. What did you do? The unspeakable Sly. The unspeakable. Well, thanks for speaking of it. I'm headed for the hut. So basically, he farted. That, that's the only explanation I can give. So are there any bottles? Really? So they take away the bottle mechanic? and do more thief net. Okay, I wonder why they took away the bottles because I they were a really cool mechanic. Like if they if they did the bottle mechanic, that would be really cool in these new open locations, but I hope I think that m more people got more annoyed with it than they did liking it. So that that's just one theory of mine why they got rid of it, but whatever. If they got rid of it, they got rid of it, but, okay, and now take you out, take you out, take you out, take you out, don't want to deal with you, do not want to deal with you, okay, so I need to go over to, okay, okay, run, okay, okay, yeah, I knew I was gonna, okay, okay, you need, okay, okay, seriously, okay, great, so it doesn't really start you over, over, it just starts you, Somewhat over. Good lord, this is not. This is not an area that I know well enough to be sneaking behind enemies quite yet. 
Okay, just go. Just do what I need to do right here. If I'm able to just be able to just get to where I need to get to, that would be fantastic right now because apparently I'm not doing so hot <laughs> on what I'm doing, but yeah. I just really do not like certain elements of this, but uh, at least I can deal with it, like the... Like with the with the highlighting the Cooper sense with the Cooper sense and everything that that just bugs me but that's just a minor annoyance but anyway okay so I go over to here and I have to take him out but the one thing I don't like about this game is that they took out the bottle mechanic because I liked the bottle mechanic just because you were able to at least go and at least have an objective that you could go and. The miners must use them to haul up their drills. Looks like you're going to get some rock climbing practice. Okay, but yeah, I really hate that they took out the bottle mechanic because it was like basically the only reason why you should explore this area, these areas and everything and learn how to use the abilities that Sly Cooper has and everything. But now that you don't really have to get any bottles or anything, it's like why do you need to explore the area if you don't have any incentive to explore the area? That's the... That's another thing I really don't like, that they took away the bottle mechanic. But whatever. Sorry, Murray. Nobody's home. And by the looks of it, I'd say the guru was fighting someone or something off here. I'm starting to think the miners might have got to him. You might be right. They'd come in and be all angry and yelling and he'd be all peaceful and... They just get ticked. Then he'd try to find a middle way, and they'd just go crazy and smash everything up, and then haul him off. Where do you think they might have taken him? They got him! My master's a goner! Maybe we should get Bentley on the line. It's tough to say, but given the layout of the miners' camp, I'd venture a guess that they use that area with a high fence as a makeshift stockade. Hmm. Looks like there might be a way up using that cliff below. Shouldn't be a problem. Just keep an eye out for that gyrocopter. I'm positive it's what gave away the guru's position. Good tip. Thanks, pal. So, yeah, I just really don't like that they took away the bottle mechanic because it basically gave you an incentive of exploring the area because before they took it out and everything, you had a reason why you should go and and look at the area at least okay so I'm not able to do that so I don't oh so this is probably gonna be one of my missions to where I'm gonna have to come over to here and then do what I need to do okay okay but yeah the bottle mechanic I it's a shame that it's gone but it's gone but I can live with it I can live with it not being here but I just love the areas that they have crafted in this game and all that and I can't play it anymore with the idea of looking everywhere for the stuff that I need to look for. Okay, so apparently we have to do what we did like we did in the last area we have to go and to meet we have to go and break him out like we did Dimitri and everything so let's just do this correctly okay oh I see him I see him he is right there oh wait that's not him okay I have to be very slow get the coin get the coin get the coins get the coins and then take her out take her out take her out Okay, where to go? Uh, really, I was up where I needed to go. Seriously. Why did I jump down then? So, apparently I needed to be up there. Okay. So, apparently I have to find, an, find my way back up there. Uh, I should really check my location before jumping. Before I should look before I leap. I should just do that. This extra hit and everything is actually helping me, so I'm glad that I got that instead of getting the push mechanic. 
I will get every mechanic and everything, or I'll try to and everything, but until then, I'm glad that I got what I got. Okay. Need to make sure that I don't jump down or fall, because if I do fall, then that means that I'm not going to be able to get up here right away, so... Okay. Okay, so apparently, like, he here... You must be the guru. I'm a good friend of Murray's. He's come asking to be released from his training. Sure, I'll just bust you out of here and we'll go talk to him. Hi, how you doing, You seriously won't leave without your gear? Yeah, I can see that the miners have really done a number on your land here. As for your walking staff and moonstone, me and my gang have a real talent for stealing back things that were wrongfully taken. The Guru won't leave the stockade until he has his walking staff and his moonstone. He also insists that we purify Ayer's Rock of all miners. Only then will the Dreamtime spirits be appeased, and the Guru will be free to use his powers. Sly must have impressed him in their conversation, because now he is requesting that Murray and I meet with him individually. Something about judging our spiritual centers. I've discovered a passage through one of the miners' caves that should make getting up to the Guru less difficult. He also mentioned that the miners had foolishly unearthed the Mask of Dark Earth. I guess it was his job to guard the thing, and now that it's out, bad things are sure to follow. Sounds like mumbo jumbo to me, but we've encountered some unexplainable phenomena over the years, so I'm not gonna rule it out as a threat to our operation. So apparently we need to go out and do stuff as Murray and Bentley so then we can get the Guru to go and allow us to save him? Okay, let me go out Bentley for... No, Murray. Let... Yeah, Murray. I need to do Murray. Not Bentley. I need to remember. Okay, where I... Okay, so I need to go over there. Okay, so I need to do the splunking thing that's over there. So let's just go and let's try to do what we need to get to. And the one thing I do also like a little bit more in this game is that how everything is more like ready for the other characters. It's not just built for Sly Cooper anymore. It's built for Murray and Bentley now. So Bentley and Murray can go and move along stuff that they need to. Um, okay, that worked really well, so, um, okay. So, yeah, I like how they made it uh, able to com accompany Murray and Bentley within the level. That's one other thing I do like about this. I know you're a little nervous to see your teacher again, but he's requested that you and I pay him a visit individually. If it wasn't for the guru... I wouldn't be the Murray you see before you today. I'm just not too sure he'll be pleased with my progress as a mystic. What are you talking about? You used the aboriginal ball form to great effect back in Venice. He'll be proud of you. Maybe, but I lost my temper and got in a fight with Octavio. To help me? I'm sure the Guru is happy to see friends sticking up for each other. Head into this cave. It'll take you right up to him. Okay, Bentley. Caves ahoy! Okay, so basically, go into the cave, spelunk until I get to him, and yeah. But yeah, I like how the levels are more a comp more appreciative of Bentley and Murray. I like how that is, and it's not just like. Oh, it's a Sly level. It's a Sly Cooper game, so you have to go out Sly Cooper. And they gave an after afterthought to Bentley and Murray. Murray, try throwing rocks to destroy those stalagmites. Of course, uh, throwing guards will work too. 
Okay, so... Oh, I need to go over to here and then do this, I guess. Um, oh. It's right here, duh. Okay, okay, good. So, yeah, I like how they go and accompany... They didn't think of Bentley or Murray as an afterthought in this game. I really like how they didn't think of them as afterthoughts. Because I like how the levels are laid out now. And it allows Bentley and Murray to do what they need to do. And all that instead of it just being, oh, Sly Cooper needs to be out because he's better to suit the level than doing the other stuff. So, yeah. And I know I'm talking a lot about what I like and don't like about the game. But I'm noticing a lot from the just d finishing the first level. No, the first area of the level c compared to this and everything. Compared to the first level and everything, I like how they uh, made it so it accompanies the two. Okay, you need to be knocked off so then I can at least do what I need to do right here. And why does the stalagmite look like pe big piles of poop? I don't, I don't understand why, but apparently they are. They look like a giant... A giant pile of poop. And I don't understand why, but they do. According to the mine's hydraulic flow chart, the door ahead appears to be sealed shut. Then I'll just bash it in! What's the good of having fists if you can't smack steel doors with them? It's too thick, even for you. No, to get through, we'll have to overload the pressure in this piston. You want me to punch it? I could do that! Use your aboriginal ball form to bounce on top of the piston and smash it down. Build up enough hydraulic pressure and the door is sure to open. Piston beware! You're about to be bounced! Okay, so how do I do that? So, L1 and everything. Okay. Okay, so I have to be in ball form to do this. So, I want to be up here first, then get into ball form. So then I'm able to at least do this correctly. Okay, go and do this correctly. Go. Go. You can do it. You can do it, Murray. Don't fall. Yes! Eat it, piston sucker! Um, okay, Murray has more fire in his temper. Okay, you need to go. Okay, go and just keep... Oh, that worked phenomenal. That was a phenomenal thing. But I don't understand why the big stalagmites or stalactites or whatever, whatever they are, are um, big, sh p big piles of poop. I don't understand why they look like big piles of poop. But they do. Another locked door. To open this one, you'll need to overload all three pistons at the same time. Um, okay. Makes sense that I I know how to do both all th I get it. So I just do it in a like a m circle motion and everything until I have them all at the same height I get. Okay, let's just do this. Do this properly and try not Okay, seriously. Okay, let's do this. Keep bouncing, Murray. Just keep bouncing. Almost there. Almost there. Do it, Murray. Do it, Murray. And... I did it! Three against one, and I still took you piston chumps to school! Okay. Does Mur Murray have a different voice actor? Because he sounds a lot different in this. Oh! Look at the size of that guy! He must be jacked up by that mask of dark earth the guru was warning us about. Curious. It seems to make the wearer much larger. Probably more aggressive, too. I can take him. My righteous quest to see the guru won't be stopped by some big stupid freak in a mask. Even if you won, you'd have nowhere to go. The door through has an electric deadbolt. This whole area runs off the same circuit. Even the drills are linked up. Then I'll throw this clown into the drills! That might break the circuit. Give it a try. 
Um, okay, so I'm gonna have to take out this kangaroo mom. And I know that it's a woman because it has a joey. Okay, okay, you need to be taken out. Keep it up, you did some damage. Okay, so apparently just keep doing this move, I guess. It's okay, as long as I keep doing what I'm doing, that, that's gonna be good. Okay, don't want to get hurt, don't want to get hurt. Okay, where, where do I need to throw her? Where do I need to throw her? Need to throw her somewhere. Not down on the ground, I need to throw her exactly at this area. Okay, really? Why isn't it not working? Okay, so I'm not supposed to press the triangle button, I'm supposed to press the circle button. Square button, not circle. Okay, really? Okay, so I'm just supposed to do that. Okay, makes sense. Now that I understand what I'm supposed to do. Holy cow! That mask can run! Mine can't do that. Intriguing. Press on to the guru. He'll have some answers. The door should be unlocked now that the drill circuit is broken. Open up! I have returned, my master. The black water now runs clear. I'd like to... I am asking... Oh, man. Yeah! I want to join back up with my friends, and, uh... We're hoping you'd come along, too? Babaji? You'd love it in the gang. We have all kinds of fun. Miners, gyrocopters, and a mask of dark earth? Yeah, that's a lot to deal with. But we'll help you, I promise! Thanks, Guru. I'm happy to see you, too. So, apparently, we need to now go and do more Murray missions because I want to. Okay, I want to be... Okay. So, Murray has to be using his jump ability to do this. Okay, jump up to here. Jump up to here. Come on. Okay, how do I... Oh. Duh. So, I'm... I have to bounce my way up to over there. The reason why I'm bouncing over here is just, just because I need to and it seems much easier than just running and everything. It's better than just running. Murray, let's motor out to Ayers Rock and scare away those mining dingoes. Your guru wants it purified. Awesome! This is the biggest truck I've ever gotten to drive! I could crush houses with this baby! Okay, Bentley. You've got my interest. Though it looks like I may have to take care of a few guards if I'm going to get at those drill controls. Defeat the guards and start the drill. Then Murray can begin phase two of my plan. Okay, so all I need to do is... 
Okay, come on, come on. Come on. I know what I'm doing. Seriously, so I can't fall off. Really? Basically, I just do this over and over and over and Okay, and need to make sure that I don't get hurt and oh. now flip over Okay, so I so this is just the basic mission and everything this is just a basic vehicle mission So okay makes sense that Murray would be driving the big honking machine go. <laughs> go go yes that worked a lot so oh. Do it once more. Get back into the water just so then I don't get hurt. Come on! Here we go! Murray's hanged up for a minute. My sensors are showing a drop off in underground movement. We'll have to drill deeper to keep the scorpions coming out. Slide, you'll have to climb to the top of the drill tower and override the depth control system. Okay, Bentley. I'm on my way. Okay, so apparently, how do we do that? Oh, so we have to do this. Great. So it's going to be one of these types of things. So if I fall at any point, then I would have to go and restart this area. Oh, good lord. Seriously, the one thing I say I don't want to do, and I do it. Great. Okay, now go up to here. Wait for it. Now go. Wait for it. Now go. And let's keep jumping. Let's just keep jumping. Let's try not to mess this up again. Even though it's really easy to mess up. Okay. And now drop and do this. It's working. Wait a minute. It's draining the water around the tower. Hurry. You'll have to rely on squishing scorpions to keep your tires cool from here on out. No problem, Edley. I totally got the hang of it now. Okay, so now I just go oh. and do this. The faster I go, the better it will be. Okay, and now... Squish and go. Okay, almost. I was almost able to do it. Okay, back up, back up, you stupid truck. And now get you squish you and you so I need to squish the blue ones and then capture the red one oh got it okay good as long as I can continuously squish the bugs I will be fantastic at this this is working in my favor a little bit and now and now go Okay. Oh, oh, good lord. Good lord. Good lord. This is not good. This is not good. 
I need to You're go with more scorpions. Okay, so now where to? So only the Sly Cooper mission is still there, so I need to be able to do the Sly Cooper mission now and just let's do that. Let's just get back to the hideout and everything because apparently I won't be able to move on with anything unless I go back to the hideout, so apparently that's what I need to do. Okay, I'm going to end this episode here I've actually done a lot and I am in now excited to see what happens D will the guru come and join us apparently he is because apparently we saw him at the beginning of the game if you understood what the shadows looked like if you if you remember what the shadows looked like you know that he's gonna join us it's just the how is he gonna join us is that is the curious part it's all on the how that we need to figure out. We know the he will. We know all of these characters are going to come together for the Cooper clan hangout area, the hideout, whatever, vault. The Cooper clan vault and everything. They're going to come together and help Sly get to the vault and everything. But for now, we just need to figure out how are they going to come together and how are they going to work as a team to get the Cooper clan vault open in the first place but anyway anyway i'm just gonna leave this episode here and i'm just gonna go see you if you like the video hit that like button if you want more videos by me give a boy subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next Woo